So, 7th and 8th graders, this is part 5 of uh, your video tutorials. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, coping saw. The coping saw has a pretty sharp blade and it will leave a very, very nasty cut if you do cut yourself. So, here's my wood blank and then what I did was I cut, I drew the outline of the design on, of my car design on both sides. And if you notice right here, when I first started using the coping saw, I followed my line here and I didn't do a second line on this side and you can see how I messed it up. It's asymmetrical when I really want it to be symmetrical cutting along this line and cutting along this line. So when you do this, when you use the coping saw, all right, you want to be on your knees and you want to have a, a piece of plywood or a piece of these, this uh, wood that's out on the drop cloth out and kneeling on it. It's a bit painful, but you'll live. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my coping saw. Everybody's going to want to grab it down here and they're going to want to grab it right beneath that nice sharp blade and that sharp blade's going to say, oh boy. I can't wait to see lots of blood squirting everywhere. Now, as much as we want a happy coping saw, we want a sad coping saw that can't cut you and cause blood to go everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look to make sure my lines are lined up, nice and even, and then I'm gonna start very softly and I'm gonna drag it towards my body. That's the easiest way to cut. And then I'm gonna keep doing that a few times, very gently. And you can see that eventually it starts to dig in a little bit. And then I stay on the top. I don't need much pressure at all. I'm constantly checking to see if both sides are getting cut evenly. And you just go back and forth, nice and easy. You don't need to give it very much pressure at all. And it looks like I'm on both sides evenly. And we keep working our way through. And you can see that it cuts fairly quickly. And because I drew my lines on both sides, I have a symmetrical cut, which will produce a more well-balanced, aerodynamically sound car. So that is part five. 